All right, Don, thank you very much. And that view there will give you some idea of the kind of day that we have had here, the setting that we are involved in right now. That's, we've got a special show coming up as part of the preamble for this event featuring Walt Disney Productions in just a moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the official voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Mr. John Ramsey. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the 1980 All-Stars. First, the American League. From the Baltimore Orioles, outfielder Al Bumbry. Representing the Boston Red Sox, an elected starter who is injured and unable to play, outfielder Jim Rice. Pitcher Tom Bergmeier. From the California Angels, second baseman Bobby Gritch. From the Chicago White Sox, pitcher Ed Farmer. Representing the Cleveland Indians, outfielder George Orta. From the Detroit Tigers, shortstop Alan Trammell. Catcher Lance Parrish. Representing, Representing the Kansas, the Kansas City, Royals, City Royals, another elected another starter elected presently, presently injured, 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 third baseman George, George Brett. Brett. <laughs> Catcher Daryl Porter. <laughs> Pitcher Larry Cora. <laughs> From the Milwaukee From the Brewers, Brewers, the third the injured, third starter, injured starter, starter, second baseman second Paul baseman Molitor. Molitor. First baseman, First baseman Cecil Cooper. Cecil Cooper. Shortstop, Shortstop Robin Young. Robin Young. From the Minnesota, From the Minnesota Twins, 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 outfielder, outfielder Ken, Ken Landro. <laughs> Representing the New York, the New York Yankees, Yankees. pitcher Tommy, Tommy John. John. Pitcher Rich Gossett. From the Oakland A's, outfielder Ricky Henderson. From the Seattle Mariners, pitcher Rick Honeycutt. Representing the Texas Rangers, outfielder Al Oliver. Third baseman, Buddy Bell. From the Toronto, From the Blue, Toronto Jays, Blue Jays, pitcher Dave Steve. The American the League American coaches. coaches. From Baltimore, From Baltimore Frank, Frank Robinson. Robinson. The manager, the manager of, the of the Kansas City, City Royals, Royals, Jim Fry. Jim Fry. And the balance, and the balance of, the of the American League staff, staff from the California, from the California Angels, Angels, Bob Clear. Bob Clear. <laughs> and the trainer and the from trainer Toronto, Toronto, Ken Carson. Ken Carson. <laughs> now the American now the League American starting, starting lineup. Starting lineup. Leading off, Leading off from the New York, the New York Yankees, Yankees, a youthful three-time All-Star, second baseman, Willie Randolph. Willie Randolph. <laughs> Batting, second, Batting second, representing the California, the California Angels, Angels, an All-Star 14 All times, time. first, baseman, first baseman, Rod Carew. Rod Carew. Hitting third, third from the Boston, from the Boston Red, Sox, Red Sox, an all-star all since his very first, first season, season, center fielder, Fred Lynn. Fred Lynn. <laughs> Batting cleanup from the New York Yankees, a nine-time all-star, right fielder, Reggie Jackson.
hitting fifth from the Milwaukee Brewers, the league home run leader, left fielder, Ben Ogilvy. In the sixth position from the Boston Red Sox, five times a fan elected starter, catcher Carlton Fisk. Heading seventh from the New York Yankees, soon to be the home run champion among American League third basemen, Greg Nettles. Batting eighth from the New York Yankees, the hero of the 1978 World Series, shortstop Bucky Dent. And the pitcher, warming up in the bullpen from the Baltimore Orioles, a 12-game winner already this year, Steve Stone. The American League manager has led the Baltimore Orioles to four league championships. Here is Earl Weaver. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the National League All-Stars. From the Atlanta Braves, outfielder Dale Murphy. Representing the Chicago Cubs, pitcher Bruce Sutter. From the Cincinnati Reds, shortstop Dave Concepcion. Third baseman, Ray Knight. Outfielder, Ken Griffey. Representing the Houston Astros. Outfielder, Jose Cruz. From the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pitchers, Bob Welsh. And Jerry Rice. Representing the Montreal Expos, catcher Gary Carter. From the New York Mets, catcher John Stearns. From the Philadelphia Phillies, first baseman Pete Rose. The player who was elected as the starting third baseman but is unable to play because of injury, Mike Schmidt. And pitcher Steve Carlton. Representing the Pittsburgh Pirates. Infielder Phil Garner. Pitchers Jim Bibby. And Kent DeColvey. From the St. Louis Cardinals, outfielder George Hendrick. First baseman Keith Hernandez. Representing the San Diego Padres, outfielder Dave Winfield. From the San Francisco Giants, pitcher Ed Whitson. And now the coaches from Cincinnati, manager John McNamara. And from Houston, manager Bill Burton. The rest of the National League staff, trainer Tony Bartero from Pittsburgh, Joe Lonnett, Bob Skinner. And from the Dodgers, Tom Lasorda. And now the 1980 starting lineup for the National League. Leading off from the Los Angeles Dodgers, this year's leading boat getter, second baseman, Davey Lopes. Batting second from the Dodgers, the National League's leading hitter, center fielder, Reggie Smith.
hitting third, the MVP of the 1979 All-Star Game from the Pittsburgh Pirates, right fielder, Dave Parker. The cleanup hitter from the Dodgers, MVP, both of the 74 and 78 All-Star Games, first baseman, Steve Garvey. Batting fifth from the Cincinnati Reds, the National League starting catcher, 10 of the last 11 years, catcher Johnny Bench. <laughs> Hitting sixth from the Chicago Cubs, his 48 home runs led in major leagues last year, left fielder Dave Kingman. Batting seventh from the St. Louis Cardinals, holder of the National League lifetime fielding record at his position, third baseman, Ken Reitz. Batting eighth, the fourth Dodger starter, making his first all-star start, shortstop, Bill Russell. Batting ninth and pitching from the Houston Astros, the first right-hander in league history to strike out 300 batters in one season. Warming up in the bullpen, J.R. Richard. And now the manager of the National League All-Stars managing his first All-Star team from the world champion Pittsburgh Pirates, Chuck Tanner. Now let's meet the honorary captains. The American League captain stepped right out of high school and into the major leagues. He spent the next 22 seasons in a Detroit Tigers uniform. His outstanding accomplishments earned him a first ballot election to the Hall of Fame, and he will be inducted at Cooperstown on August 3rd. The Tigers number six, Al Kaline. Seems like yesterday, Keith, he was a 17-year-old high school kid from Baltimore. Came up with another K, Harvey Keene, to Detroit. Marked influence on his life. His first manager, Fred the Big Bear Hutchinson. The National League honorary captain entered the Hall of Fame in 1969. He is the Dodgers' all-time champion in winning most valuable player honors. Having won the award three times, let's welcome Roy Campanella. I don't think anybody could talk about Roy Campanella better than Don Drysdale, who was a teammate with him, knew him well, worked with him, and the crowd is standing. Well, Keith, I think when you talk about one of the great guys in this game of baseball, you've got to talk about the man who's moving to home plate right now after the tragic accident in the winters of 1956 to 57. Roy Campanella. And what a great man. He came up with a great line that we all use, and I think it can be used in everyday life. But Roy said, you've got to have a lot of little boy in you to play this game. Listen to that hand. More than 55,000 people standing. Quite a man. Walt Disney Productions in just a moment. 